bitch, your boomin' and want some more, nigga. Fuck up your attitude, fuck all the gratitude. All my bitch magical, all this shit magical, all this shit radical, all this shit radical, all this shit radical. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lil Tay. So today I'm bringing you the video that I've been wanting to make for a long time, man. It's the, uh, I'm, I call it the top 10 weakest moves of 2K. Not the best moves, the weakest moves of 2K. Now, I see, you know, a lot of these moves, I could, I could see if you just got the game and you're learning and, you know, you haven't been able to practice and stuff. And I can understand why you do these moves, but if you had this game for since it came out or over three months, come on, man, you can't be doing these moves and think you're good. So you know, that's why I made this video to show y'all some of the moves that I think are the weakest, and that's why I ranked them in this way. You know, the ones that I hate the most. So let's get into it, man. Number 10. Get in where you fit in. So basically, get in where you fit in is pretty much, you know, defenders, he's he's guarding you pretty tight. And you figure out some way to get in between and score and go. You go straight to the basket. You're not even thinking about your teammate. And that's one thing I really hate about this. You just going... Your defender's locking you up, and you just figure a way to, to get inside to get a bucket. This is terrible. This is straight trash to me. Number nine. Jitters. Now, this one, I, I couldn't really come up with a name with it. I don't have that much footage for it. But when you see a guy do some kind of when his arm goes out, or he does like that move, and that's what we call jitters. It's part of the left analog family. Number eight. The running back. <laughs> this one's really funny. So the running back, it's like they're cutting like a running back. You go left, right, and they just go in between their legs. The whole movement just doesn't make sense as far as real basketball. Look at it. <laughs> and dudes actually do these moves. This is me back in the day when I used to hit it. Bam. That's buckets. I used to kill people with that move. But it's retarded. There's another dude here that with it. This guy. Look, look how swift you move with it. It just doesn't. That's not real. Number seven. The backup dribble. Now, yeah, I, I can see if you're on a fast break and you want to go back to the three. But when dudes constantly do this over and over just to create space and shoot a three, that's just horrible to me. Like this guy right here, that's all he did the whole game. The whole game. Come on, man. Learn how to do a step back. <laughs> just trash. Number six. The runaround. Now, this is when a guy, he, he either runs around you or he runs back to the three. He'll go inside the paint and then run around the whole court and back to the three. This is just horrible. <laughs> it's like no skill whatsoever. You just this, this is also part of the left analog family. You know, left analog, you're just using left analog to move around. You're not even using the right analog. And look at this guy. He just go way back to the three. That's horrible. Now, let's take a look here. This is a legend we're talking about. This is a legend. This guy's going to cross over, zigzag, and he's going to run all the way around, and then he's going to shoot a three. That's the run around. It's horrible. I got my boy Snipes. Snipes is just trolling these dudes. I told him to give me some uh, run around footage, and this is what he did. <laughs> this is what guys actually do, man. It's crazy. They actually run around like that. Number five, the ball fling. <laughs> now this move, it's just like the ball just flings. Look at look at it. <laughs> it just makes no it just makes no sense to me, basketball wise. 
Now this guy is gonna do it to create space. Man, he's gonna go baseline, but I caught up to him. It's just sweet. I don't know how to use the right analog stick to dribble. And this guy is just horrible. Number four. Stiff neck. Now this is a move you will see a lot. I mean, this is part of the left analog family too. And they're just using the left analog and they're going left and right. They're not really doing much, but guys actually get create space like this and they get a shot off. And that is just, it's so irritating when guys actually score off of this. No effort whatsoever. It's 2K's defense, you're sliding, so what can you do? Number three. Zigzag cheese. Now this is a famous one, you know. A lot of people still do this, even though 2K said they fixed it as far as the bad shot selection. Well, I've seen a lot of guys still make these shots, and it's just... It's hilarious. <laughs> and Zigzag is really easy to guard, though. So it's not really that bad. Number two. Baseline Cheese. Okay, guys. This is the one I really hate. I mean, dudes do this so much, and it just really irks me. I mean, they just sprint straight to the basket, and it it really it really irks me when they have a wide open teammate for a three and don't even think about passing. Look at this legend. See, see, when they actually struggle on the baseline, I call that hard baseline. It's like a barrier is protecting them from going out of bounds. 2K has to fix that. The the out of bounds line has to be more sensitive. You feel me? Like, look at this guy. He's just going baseline. This guy's gonna sprint. He's gonna try to stay away from me and go to the edge. It's just trash, especially if you do a crossover to the baseline and you dunk on somebody. That is so weak to me. Go in the middle and dunk on somebody. Look at this guy. Struggle to there. That's just horrible. I hate it so bad. Number one. Stage cheese. Now, the stage cheese, I'm just mostly talking about the crossovers, like 16, 18, I think like 20. There's a couple other ones in there, four, where you just, look how much the area that you cover with these crossovers makes no sense. Where you can move from one half to the court to the other half of the court, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Now we're going to get into the combinations, guys doing combinations, this guy's doing the sage cheese. And he does zigzag cheese. He's, I mean, we're, we're triple teaming this guy. He's not even thinking about passing to his teammates. Uh, he said, screw you, screw you guys. I'm going to the baseline. Struggle to the baseline. Should have been out of bounds. Ass. Donkey. Stiff neck. This guy's on stiff neck. Uh, back up dribble. I mean, look at this guy. And he goes baseline. Where's my donkey? This straight ass, bro. This guy. Oh, running back. Stiff neck right there. More stiff neck. Oh, he said, I'm going to the baseline. Donkey ass. Look at this dude. This dude is really ass. I mean, this is straight donkey material. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh, stop it. And what is this? Is this a new thing in the twos? You pretend you're lagging and then you hope the guy flops so you can get an easy bucket? Like, come on, bro. Hey, please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to come out with some more videos. I appreciate all the support, guys. I love you.